Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Minecraft Dungeons Diaries Flames of the Nether DLC by Minecraft. Now, I'm reacting to this mainly because someone has requested this, but at the same time, I actually wouldn't mind going back to Minecraft Dungeons. It was a decent game. Well, it was actually pretty fun until, personally, the first DLC being kind of underwhelming. Then I left it. But then I heard that they actually expanded it further, so I might actually go back to playing it and do some videos on it. Honestly, like, maybe. But yeah, anyways, guys, we're getting some description. Make sure to the Minecraft thing. says in the description. Let's just get right into it. Today, oh, dang. We're happy to be able to share with you a couple oh, that of is really cool, though. insights into the, the upcoming DLC. Yeah, like the Soul Sand the Bridges. Network. Ooh. That the Nether is coming to dungeons is super exciting because we're. I always did want the Nether to be in dungeons. From vanilla into dungeons. Yeah, warp and forest though. That's sick. And then also piglins stuff, are becoming that's enemies to dungeons and instead play of like with pillagers. And now be able to play with crossplay, and I think that's gonna be great. So the development team chose to delve into the Nether because it's the most iconic of all the biomes in Minecraft. So it many is, new, yeah. different and exciting things you can find in the nether compared hey, to the, with the, skeletons. the nether is a really good fit for the dungeons format and for the dungeons game. When I play original Minecraft, I always view the Blade. nether as this dangerous chainsaw? otherworldly dimension that That's actually I cool. barely have explored. The process, okay. It's always a process of, of looking at the base game, playing the base game, that looks like some new armor with the warp and see what warp would they stuff? do if they could expand on this environment into Pick Minecraft dungeons. So we started out with a lot of concept art for the nether. We looked at all the biomes and uh, tried to find interesting takes on uh, what could be added to the environment. Yeah, like these like skeleton bridges. Those are the sick. and their technology and created weapons and armors and props and set pieces based on that. We looked at the forest and added our own touch to the plant life there. But it's not always a matter of just lifting everything out from the original game and just copy paste it into Minecraft yeah. Dungeons. We have to adapt it to to the play style of our well, game. Well, yeah, of course. And also Otherwise to it wouldn't work. all the visuals that we have added to Minecraft Dungeons that differ from the original game. Thank the pay part, uh, of the Nether DLC that we're launching consists primarily of six missions set in the Nether. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's magma cubes that you find as a player in the Nether. So you're basically getting a whole new dungeons over. Uh, we've worked super hard to make the Nether feel like the Minecraft. Oh, nether, okay. And at the same time, have the dungeon twists uh, with a lot of new things and challenges, and I think it's gonna be very fun to explore. Of course, we always mix paid part and a free part, so everyone can take benefit of the cool things we do to expand Minecraft Dungeons. But really, it's all down to the amount of new cool content you get in the net. Okay. Da -da. In the free da -da 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 oh, I love that song. You'll find something called Gilded Items. And these are uh, versions of regular uh, gear that have an extra randomized built-in enchantment oh what uh, but it's also oh, that's kind of cool okay so it'll cost more it's like enchanted enemies right? how they so kind of have enchantments too the right item uh with with the specific enchantment that you want that's actually really cool really that they come with enchantments uh, all right it'll be a challenge to do yeah because then you have to try and look for the right like item, item with right and the right enchantment so that's time. cool The ancient hunts were an idea that came out of the blue in a meeting. Somebody said, like, what if the player could make their own missions? And everyone was like, what? Uh, and we decided that uh, to find a way to make it fit. Wait, there's zombies so in the, the nether? player will be able to input okay. um, gear in certain orders and in certain ways and then create. Oh, a yeah. I saw this on Twitter. This looked very interesting. Where you could like put them in certain slots. Without, uh, this looked very much, interesting. Uh, you as a player will be able to have a bit more control over 
what the levels look like and what they uh, include. Of course, there will be uh, surprises as well in the ancient hunts. Um, that's something we're trying to weave into the generation of the levels. Yeah, wait. Uh, uh, unique events that you can explore and find. Since you have some control over how the levels are generated, you can also share whatever you found so that other players can Oh, also find so they're randomly generated? But like you also ancient generate them too. That is really cool. Honestly, this makes you want to go back to the game, because I kind of left the game after a little while. The Jungle Awakens DLC was kind of underwhelming. Expanding Apocalypse Plus alongside this update, and with that expansion. Oh yeah, Apocalypse Plus! I forgot about that. To provide a new and more interesting experience for players. Besides being the DLC with the most biomes, it's also the DLC with the most mobs. Some mobs are well familiar from uh, vanilla. Bruce. Some mobs are new as well, like the uh, piglin fungus thrower, which is a, a range. Yeah, what is that? That throws like pink fungus grenade. It has a cool bandana as well. There might be oh, what? a big gas in there. Gas are in? Oh, update, God. We are, of course, bringing all the new mobs that have been introduced to the nether, both from the beginning and since the new nether update on Minecraft Vanilla. Oh yeah, obviously, you know. With our new merchants appeared a new... Hey, of course there's a piglin merchant. Uh, charismatic character that will trade you extremely exclusive and special well, items. Well, yeah, because you can barter in game. And this piglin yeah. is very unique because it lives in the overworld uh, with the help of some mushrooms and spores. So I think it's gonna add a lot to the Oh, okay. So the it can survive with the spore mushrooms. That, uh, found okay, a way that's to interesting. In the overworld without uh, being zombified. Um, when you open the portals to the Nether, you will find that this merchant has moved into your home base. And as with any uh, piglin, they only accept gold in their transactions. So you will have to find a way to uh, to find gold. Wait, so in the Nether, do you just get gold instead of emeralds? Do you get gold instead uh, of emeralds? Supply you with. Hmm. We have a sword made of scrap metal that mostly looks like a chainsaw. You have big Ooh. clubs made of golden gold piglin bone. armor. I noticed um, the clubs too. Those are sick. Fine from the forest biomes. Grenades made of fungus. We are trying to tell a story without really telling it. The piglins. Oh yeah, have the been fungus there for grenades. While, and we leave some clues to what they have been doing all these Twisted years. Twisted vine bow. Holy crap, that's sick. There's a lot of new missions to play in the DLC. We incorporated the uh, the biomes that you're used to from the Nether, so it's the Nether wastes, puzzle deltas, the forest biomes, Soul Sand Valley, fortress as well. Yeah. Hey, I like the fort. Yeah, the Nether fortress, of course. Yeah, with blaze spawners, that's that's really good. We have all these little nooks and crannies to explore and. Uh, yeah, tons of new mobs. A lot of new caves. We call them the golden rooms. The gold, of course, being the new currency. Oh, wait, are they going to add um, piglin bastions or no? Gold. We're using all the bells and whistles of particles and lights and environmental effects, uh, animations and vivid colors. So Yes, you do get, get gold them. instead of emeralds. So okay, that's really nice to know. That's a nice touch because they, they only accept gold instead of emeralds. Nether and being able to take that vision and bringing that into dungeons and putting the dungeons right. touch on it. The most important thing above all is of course you, the players. We want to create something really fun for Ooh, you those to enjoy. those hoglins seem pretty difficult. And I think we've done so. So, warmly welcome into the flames of the net. Ooh. So is that already, is that already out? Honestly, is that already out? I would not mind playing that. I honestly would not pl mind playing that or do like a stream for that, honestly, or do something. Cause honestly, yeah, I heard the, the winter DLC was actually really good. And then also the, this looks really promising too. I honestly cannot wait for it. Like I really can. It looks really good. It looks really, really good. So I cannot wait for it. And I, yeah, it might actually make me want to like get the game again, honestly, and like get it again. Maybe even do videos on it, streams and stuff like that. Honestly, there's so much potential I feel like now because 
Because at first, when I heard about the winter stuff, I'm like, okay, that's it. But no, apparently I've heard they've expanded Minecraft Dungeons, like, completely. Like, there's daily missions, there's so much stuff you can do with it now. And honestly, I'm really glad. I might go back to it, I might do a community post. Like, honestly, I really want to hear uh, people's thoughts on, you know, just... Minecraft Dungeons content because honestly I would not mind doing Minecraft Dungeons content. That would be very cool. That would be very cool, honestly. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and video, share my channel. See you next one. Bye!